A VHDL design consists of at least two parts, an entity and an architecture. So a VHDL design consists of at least one entity and one architecture. So first of all, let's begin with the entity. This is the syntax of the entity. So the syntax is uh, simple enough. It begins with the keyword entity, which de uh, declares our intention to start uh, describing an entity. Then this is the name of the entity. We give it uh, any name we can, uh, any name we want, unless it's a reserved keyword. And then is and port. Port indicates that we are starting to list the ports of the entity. And so the ports of the entity in this case are three. We have three ports. This is the name of the first port, the name of the second port, and the name of the third port. The first port is of type in, indicating that it is an input port. Uh, the second port is of type in, and the third port should actually be of type out. So this is a, an error here. So this is of type out. And so um, what follows the input or output, the direction of the port, is the data type of the port. So ignore the data type standard logic vector for now. And this just describes a, uh, a bit. And 15 down to 0 indicates that this is a vector of bits. This vector of bits will have indices from 15 down to 0, meaning that the vector is 16 bits long. So we can describe ports of type in, of type out, and of type in out. Each of the ports can be of any length we want. So the entity ends at this point, and all it has done is it has described that there is something called 16-bit adder. So this is the name of the entity, and it has three ports, one of which is an input port called in a, input A, one of which is an output port, an input port called input B, and one of which is an output port called add out. So uh, the two input ports are 16 bits each, and the output port is 17 bits. Now notice that the indices here run from 15 down to 0, which indicates that the length of the vector is 16 bits. It is sometimes possible also to use uh, up to or to to describe the uh, indices of uh, a bus or a vector. So we could have said 0 up to 15 or 0 to 15, but it is more common to state buses uh, using the down to keyword. So basically, this is the way we describe uh, buses of bits in VHDL. The entity, all it does is it indicates the existence of a certain building block. It gives it a name and it defines the ports of this um, thing. So it defines the names of the ports their directions, as well as their sizes. It doesn't actually describe how this entity is implemented on the inside, and it doesn't actually uh, recognize how many times this entity is used. So the entity just indicates the existence of the design. How it's implemented on the inside is the architecture, and how many times it is declared, how many times it exists in reality, and how it is connected in reality is the problem of instantiation. So all we are doing with the entity is just declaring that it exists and describing the black box in terms of input and output ports and the sizes of such ports. As I said, every design has to consist of at least an entity and an architecture. And so this is a complete design in this case. It can go into a single file or it can share uh, the file with other designs, but it's better to have each design in a separate file in VHDL. So it consists of an entity and an architecture. The architecture describes how the entity is implemented on the inside. And so here we have an architecture and the name of the architecture is behavioral. It is an architecture of an entity whose name is 16-bit adder. And the architecture is. Between the word is and the word begin, we have something called the architecture declarations part. This is an area where we declare internal signals that we will be using in the architecture, 
where we declare components or other designs that we will be, will be using as components within this architecture, uh, constants that we will be using in this architecture. So it includes declarations of everything that we intend to use within the architecture. And then comes the keyword begin. And between the keyword begin and the keyword end architecture, we have the actual architecture of the design. We have how the design is actually implemented. So we have the real hardware in between these two statements. And so here we have um, uh, an internal signal called internal result. And it is of a sp special kind of uh, data type called short vector. And it is equal to the summation of the two inputs, input A plus input B. And then the output is assigned the value of this internal signal. That's all that's being done here. It's just a 16-bit uh, adder. It accepts two 16-bit vectors and produces one 17-bit vector output. So when this passes through synthesis, if this is the top-level design, when this passes through synthesis, it will produce one 16-bit adder. Again, a design consists of one entity and at least one architecture, which means that the entity could actually have multiple architectures. And this is very valid. We could have an entity, um, and then we have architecture A for this entity, architecture B for this entity, architecture C for this entity. You can have as many architectures as uh, you want for the same entity, but you have to have at least one. So when you actually use the entity, when you instantiate it and start using it, and we will see how we instantiate uh, entities uh, a little bit later, but when you instantiate the entity, you can actually choose to have a certain instance use architecture B or architecture C. By default, all instantiations are going to use the last declared architecture unless otherwise stated. So uh, if you use multiple architectures, be sure to have the last architecture be the one that you want to be used by default. So to reiterate, when you declare an entity, you're not actually talking about how many times you use that entity. You're not even talking about how it's implemented on the inside. You're just talking about the input and output ports and the name of the entity. The implementation on the inside is described by the architecture of which there has to be at least one. 